Welcome, it's Facts You Don't Know. If it's your first time here and you want to find out new facts that will definitely make you smarter and more. Well, and for make sure to subscribe and active the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Axel was a handsome but poor boy. He was orphaned at age five. When his parents died in a traffic accident in the country, they came to him on vacation. The boy left the scene of the accident and his family could not find him. He was raised in a neighborhood where he was fed by all the neighbors. And growing up, he fell in love with a rich girl who made fun of him for being humble. But his life gave him a big surprise that the poor boy was the grandson of his father's boss. Without a single blood relative, Axel had grown up under the aegis of Donna Candida, an elderly noblewoman who fed him the first day she saw him prowling the neighborhood. Although the child was dirty, he could see that his clothes were fine, but he arrived very hungry. The old woman lived alone with many ailments in her body due to her age and she decided to share a plate of food with the little boy When asked his name he said it was Axel, but she didn't know his last name She only managed to say that she did not know that place and she was very afraid The noble old woman showered him. She gave him hot milk and left him sleeping on the couch in her house The days passed and no one claimed for the child so he little by little got used to the new reality the following year, Dona Candida began to send the boy to the neighborhood school. As he did not have last names or legal guardianship of him, the teacher explained that he would not have official qualifications because that could cause legal problems for the lady. She could not give him luxuries, but she filled him with a lot of love and the basics were not lacking. By the time Axel reached 18, the old woman was already having difficulty walking and he set out to buy her a wheelchair so that it could be posted very easily. The boy went to the city hall in search of a job and was told that there were people looking to sweep the streets. And when they saw him willing, they asked for documents. A few weeks later, he began to work in the municipal ornato, and they gave him his uniform, his broom, and other tools for the task. The sector he was assigned to work in was an exclusive residential area, a bit far from the center of the city. There, little by little, he made himself known. Because he did his job very well and many of the service girls in Hiriko's house yearned for him because Axel was definitely very handsome He was tall and his body was very athletic. So with the uniform the shapely figure of him stood out The domestic girls gave him soft drinks sandwiches and one or another even invited him out shamelessly But he just smiled and thanked for the food Some things he ate others he kept so that Dona Candida could indulge herself from time to time one morning, while he was cleaning the wax from the pink house, as they called the mansion of an important official of a foreign company, he was running out of the gardens to what he considered the most beautiful girl in the world. He stopped her work and began to sigh for her, when suddenly, and Celeste, one of the maids of the Rosa house, interrupted him and gave him some things. Immediately, he asked him who the young man was, and she told him that it's the boss's daughter. The girl Susanna is the most beautiful girl I've seen in my whole life. She's very pretty and everything, but let me tell you that she's not at your level, dear friend. You must look at a poor woman just like us, Celeste pointed out. From that day on, he tried to pass by Rosa's house, always at the same time, to see, even from afar, his platonic love. However, one day he plucked up the courage, and with half his salary for an entire month, he bought a huge bouquet of roses to take to Susanna. Along with his broom, pruner, and other work tools, he carried the roses for his love. When he was in front of the garden of the house, he saw that Susanna was with two friends, but that didn't stop him. Good morning, miss. Miss Susanna, may I have a moment, please? Good morning, young man. Is she offering you something? At that moment, she, along with her friends, walked towards the gate while Axel's heart was beating at a thousand for hours. Miss, I bring you these roses. I bought them especially for you. At that moment, Susanna and one of her friends broke into a tremendous laugh. How do you think of bringing me roses? Besides, it's obvious that you must have picked them or stole them somewhere because a starving man like you can't afford this arrangement. Take it, miss. I'm straight. I bought it with half my salary. Susanna took the beautiful arrangement and threw it at Axel's feet while she and her friend died laughing. Although Miriam, the other girl who was accompanying him, was dead with shame, Axel was destroyed. But Miriam tried to make him feel better and she picked up the roses and told him that she did like them. She put it in her car and took the young man back to the municipal presidency. Once he handed over the work tools, invited him to have a coffee. 
but the young man was sorry because he was wearing his work uniform. Upon reaching the cafeteria, Axel was stopped at the entrance and prohibited from entering because it was an exclusive place. While Miriam was arguing with the man at the door, an elegant man went to see what was happening, and when he found out that they wanted to expel the young man for his humble condition, he paid his bill and left, but not before begging the young man and his friend to accompany him to his house. Miriam knew this man. It was the millionaire Ambrosio Cosuera, who had settled in that country after the death of his son and his daughter-in-law, hoping to find his grandson. El Bancate was a very generous man, but if he had insisted on taking Axel and look at his house, it was because the young man bore an incredible resemblance to his late son. What is your name, young man? I am Axel Lopez. At his command, Axel, how old are you? Yes, I'm 18, sir. The millionaire did not let the boy finish speaking. He interrupted him to ask about his parents, and he told him that he was an orphan, that he lived with a lady who picked him up when he was left alone in life. Mr. Corsuera immediately got up and returned with a photograph and showed it to Axel, who burst into tears and said, They're my parents. The millionaire hugged him, and they cried together, because he was his lost grandson. Axel's life changed in a second. Immediately, his grandfather took him shopping. Miriam was with him, and she was very moved, when the young man bought the wheelchair for Dona Candida first. He and then bought clothes and a special dessert for the old woman who adored him so much. In the store, he went out to the neighborhood. When Dona Candida learned that the man who accompanied her was her grandfather, she began to cry, thinking that she would lose her boy. But on the contrary, because she was going to live with him in that mansion. The grandfather organized a party to celebrate that he had his grandson with him. Susanna was curious to meet Don Ambrosio's grandson because it was rumored that he was very handsome. She sighs her surprise. She took her when she saw him next to the boss of her father. She couldn't believe it. Hi, Axel. How are you? Hello, Miss Susanna. I'm fine. Thanks a lot. Do you want to dance with me? I'm sorry, lady. Before, I was not up to it. Now you are not mine. Your father works for my family, so thank you very much. Susanna is more sorry, and she got worse when she later saw Miriam with Axel. She was filled with a lot of anger and yelled, traitor. But Miriam only told her that money is not everything in life, that she should love people for who they are and not for what they have. Deep down, Axel was uncomfortable for having treated Susanna badly, but he was satisfied because he knew that this would be a great lesson for her. Remember to give us a like and share this video on your social networks. We await you in our next video. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks. We'll be right back to you as fast as we can.